Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day trading investments trading session, the 25th of May uh, 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can visit, you can also uh, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of stats, Asian markets overnight quite stellar. The Nikkei up 70 points, the Hang Seng Shanghai up more than almost a percentage point in Shanghai at 1.4 and the Hang Seng up 0.8 percent so quite a seller move in uh, Asia overnight certainly seems like they've shaken off the weakness from the uh, Moody's downgrade so impressive how uh, our overall just a day or what a day can do in terms of the Asian markets so you can see the Shanghai now certainly rallying into gap fill okay so certainly multiple more gaps above and we'll see whether or not that can be sustained okay in terms of the uh, European markets the stats for the day you have the FTSE finishing uh, more or less flat up two points. The DAX down 20 points, although it was down a whopping 130 points at one time from the, the actual potential high. The French CAC down as well. I think the uh, pivot low on the German DAX, if I can recollect. Let's just bring this up here. A 10 minute chart. You can see it was, it was crash bang wallop. Uh, the pivot low was around the 12.545 uh, level. Quite an impressive sell off as well. So certainly under pressure, okay, uh, the CAC as well, uh, under pressure as well, the CAC finished lower, the FTSE MIB certainly finished lower as well. So uh, the uh, the European market is certainly finishing negative, even though we had a seller rally overnight in Asia, also US markets hitting new highs, uh, given, especially given the fact that the DAX certainly plunged, I was expecting US markets reversing, but the US markets certainly seem to be on a different planet altogether. If I bring up the chart of the S&P 500 here, even with the... Uh, talk of tapering as well towards the end of the year tapering is having absolutely no effect on u.s equities at all if anything tapering is certainly being perceived as being bullish which is really um, really puzzling let's put it that way okay so certainly pushed and broken higher here on the s p 500 so certainly a v-shaped move we closed the gap below and then we've left multiple gaps behind and obviously pushed to new highs i mean i'm not too sure how to understand this to be honest with you really is baffling especially given the fact that you have the trump investigation still ongoing oil prices certainly plunged today as well and that had no effect in the s p 500 too bring up the project bring up the price of oil here here we go i mean certainly a bearish engulfing candle pivot higher 52 down to 49 or 48.8 and yet no effect whatsoever on the s p 500 we continue to move higher so it seems like the s p is invincible along with the Nasdaq as well, it certainly seems invincible. So, very, very strange times. We held a 75% on oil, therefore you one would presume it would be negative, okay, net net negative for global equities, and that isn't the case. So, it certainly seems that when oil prices go higher, equities go higher, but when oil prices go lower, equity prices don't go lower, which is very strange. That relationship itself is um, very baffling, to say the least, okay. Um, so, yes, US equity certainly is strange. European equities... Another strange day today, especially with the DAX plunging as well. Okay, interesting. In terms of economic data today, uh, GDP day numbers from Spain came in in line. Uh, industrial sales from uh, uh, Italy came in uh, slightly stronger than expected. Uh, UK GDP numbers certainly came in weaker. Mortgage approvals from the UK came in weaker as well. Okay, index of services, business investment, everything certainly. But actually, business investment slightly better than expected. But GDP numbers from UK certainly coming weaker. Uh, in terms of the uh, US, uh, US data as well, certainly on the weaker side, jobless claims certainly increased. Uh, inventories, wholesale inventories on the decline, uh, trade balance, goods trade balance certainly weaker as well. So, um, and Kansas Fed manufacturing activity weaker as well. But the market certainly isn't, I'm not too sure, the market certainly seems to be inundated or as consumed with it with an alternative opinion in terms of u.s market so again very very strange okay let's see exactly where we are technically speaking daily chart of the german dax certainly a bearish engulfing candle certainly weaker we're certainly putting in a low high here no thrust higher especially given the fact that u.s markets are pushing to new highs european markets did not follow through and that certainly is a a warning sign especially for u.s equities anyway you can see here we're holding that 12700 level with certainly bearish engulfing candle and consolidating here and we're looking to flush lower we've already seen a flush already to drive down to 12540 okay so next flush potentially will be to 12400 so certainly very puzzling as to why us equities are continuing to move higher what's the catalyst there 
especially given the fact that the budget proposal that's been put forward has been basically slashed or cut to pieces and certainly uh, been uh, dismissed as being uh, amateur okay according to mr summers so again interesting uh, a 10 minute chart of the uh, the german dax you have resistance here now at 12670 watch out below certainly a lower high has been put in place uh, support at 12600 and then support seen at 12550 so watch out for support below in terms of the french cac let's just bring up the french cac for you daily chart the french cac here okay still again lower high being put in place no higher high no real rally higher especially given the fact that the euro usd certainly is still remains above 1.2 1.12 okay so again we'll focus on that too daily chart from my perspective looks like a bear flag 60 minute chart holding that key resistance where previous resistance equals support holding 75 percent you have bear flag in motion okay so again looking to potentially flush lower so bear that in mind in terms of french cac 10 minute chart the french cac uh, symmetrical wedge is broken southward so again looking for further weakness down to 5310 you have an unfilled gap below at 5290 so again we'll be looking to target that we certainly have double top in place certainly no higher high okay certainly a double top and therefore bias would certainly be indicated lower so looking for lower prices okay that's the uh, uh, summation really for european equities FTSE 100 same concept here daily chart at the moment held resistance hasn't broken out certainly not joining its euro its us pairs and breaking higher again that's a warning sign 60 minute chart certainly holding double top okay again a warning sign 10 minute chart double top intraday <laughs> excuse me okay so looking for a lower high we did hit a pivot lower 7506 before we bounce so again that's interesting keep an eye on that okay using your diagonal trend line uh, looking at a potential symmetrical wedge forming here now okay so look at that symmetrical wedge looking for a break lower from my understanding so bias certainly remains bearish here on the FTSE itself euro euro stocks let's last but not least euro stocks again 60 minute chart holding pip 61 percent lower high in place bias remains bearish 10 minute chart as well bias remains bearish all lower highs thus far looking to potentially test 3570 and then obviously potentially lower so european equity certainly bias remains bearish looking for lower uh, lower lows lower highs and looking for uh, obviously markets to uh, move south it's just us markets at the moment that's certainly holding everything uh, afloat if that if they were to show some time some type of weakness this market certainly would go uh, south very very quickly on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.